Today I'm going to be sharing with you two quick and easy bowls. The first one's going to be a hash brown bowl and the second one's going to be a taco bowl. These two bowls are so quick and easy, you're going to love them. First up is the hash brown bowl. Let's get started. So I'm using frozen hash browns. So what I do is I just put some in a bowl here. I put them in the microwave for a couple minutes just to kind of defrost them. Then I'm going to wring out the extra moisture in this paper towel. And we'll get a crispier hash brown that way. And then I'm just going to season it up with garlic powder, granulated garlic, and smoked paprika. No exact measurements, just sprinkle it on. Give it a good toss. And let's head over to the stove. So I've got a good nonstick pan here, and we're gonna just add the hash browns to it. And you wanna get them in a nice even layer. Sometimes using your hand is better. And then I smash it down. You want your heat on medium, and we're gonna cover it, and we're gonna let it cook for about five, six minutes. So to our hash brown bowl, we're gonna add some veggies. So I'm gonna chop up some veggies. We wanna get these in a pan, and just saute them for a few minutes. I've got a cremini mushroom here. And then I've got a red bell pepper. Get rid of these seeds here. That's why it's important to have a good nonstick pan. And you know, you're not gonna, maybe not always going to do it in a single move, but that's okay. Good enough. And see, you've got a nice crispy side here. Now we're going to cook the other side for about three, four minutes and uh, cover it as well. And then let's finish chopping up those veggies. Now I've got a sweet onion here. Any onion will do. So about a cup of onions, and I always love to add some greens to whatever I'm making. So I've got this kale here. It's already um, pretty finely chopped. I mean, it's triple washed, it's organic. You could use spinach, any kind of green you'd like. But I wanna cut this up even finer. It does have some stems in here. If that bothers you, you can you know pick them out, or you can just do it from you know regular fresh kale in the bunch. All right, so the hash browns are done. So I'm just gonna put this on my little plate here. We're just gonna let that set aside for a minute. I'm gonna add a teeny bit of water and then I'm gonna add my veggies. A little bit more water. Season it up with the same spices, garlic powder, onion powder, 
and some smoked paprika and we'll just let these go for a few minutes you just want the onions to get soft i don't like them super cooked overcooked so we'll just let these go for a couple of minutes and then we'll add the kale in and then we're going to put it all together and this is exactly what you want you want some color on your veggies onions are getting soft so we're going to add the kale I'm gonna add about a tablespoon or so of coconut aminos. And I'm gonna add a couple pinches of salt. And that's optional. I'm gonna cover this and let it go for a couple minutes. Now who wouldn't love this for breakfast? I just go old school and I use ketchup. You could put whatever you want on here. You could put cheese sauce, salsa, barbecue sauce, whatever you'd like. Beautiful 50-50 bowl. This is my hash brown bowl. Good for breakfast or any meal of the day. Next up is the taco bowl, but before we do that, I just want to make sure, if you're new here, I'm Debbie, I'm a plant-based RN, and on my channel you're going to find quick and easy whole food plant-based recipes. You can follow me on Instagram, I also created a Facebook group if you feel like you need some more support. I also have an e-guide that will explain the benefits of a plant-based diet, and I also have a newsletter. So I'll leave all the links to those in the description box below. Let's get started on the taco bowl. So these are the ingredients for the taco bowl. We have onion, lettuce, cheese sauce, black beans, tomatoes, salsa, tortilla chips, and rice. The first thing I want to do is show you how I make these tortilla chips. They are crispy, no oil. You could use store-bought if you want, but why when you can make these oil-free? So much better for you. So let me show you how you make those delicious chips. So to make the uh, tortilla chips, all you need is a corn tortilla. You want a fine one without oil. This just has corn and lime in it. And we're just gonna cut it in half. And then you're gonna cut each half in half again. And then you're gonna cut these in half. To me, this is the perfect size tortilla. Then I lay them out. And then I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of lime juice on these. And you don't need to do a lot, just a little bit. It just kind of gives it a lime, little hint of flavor. And then you just kind of rub it in. And if it's not completely immersed in it, it's fine. Then I'm just going to put these in my air fryer at 380 for five minutes and they come out perfect. You could do these in the oven as well probably 400 degrees for 10-15 minutes, flipping them halfway through. And that's just a guesstimate. So you want to lay them in your air fryer basket, uh, not touching, preferably. Okay, I'm going to get these started and then we'll put our bowl together. Okay, let's put this together. I've got some crispy romaine lettuce. And basically what this is, is you have deconstructed a taco. So everything you like in a taco, you're just putting in a bowl. So I'll just add the lettuce to the bowl. I'm gonna chop up some onion. I don't know if you saw the cool way that I cut this onion earlier is I just cut off the one end you leave the this end on and then you just go around and make these little cuts like this and then when you turn it over and slice it down you have all these cool already chopped up little pieces of onion I learned that on TikTok. all right let's cut up some tomato So whatever you like on your taco, then that's what you're going to put in your bowl. 
This is just what I like. And I like to keep things so simple. As you know, the simpler the better. And you can make those tortilla chips ahead of time and just stick them in a Ziploc bag. And they stay crispy. Just make sure they're completely cooled before you put them in a bag. Then I got about a half a cup of black beans and that's no special measurement. That's just what I like. And about the same amount of rice. Again, you can do more, you can do less. I like to mix the salsa and the cheese sauce together. So a little bit in there. Same with this. And then it just makes a fun little cheese sauce that you can put over the whole thing. And then of course we're gonna throw on some chips. And there you go, you have your taco bowl. So here is the finished bowl, super easy. I gotta try one of these chips in this delicious queso cheese sauce. Let's for that crunch. Yum, yum. So these two bowls that I showed you today are low fat, high carb, they're great for weight loss, lots of fiber to keep you full, and so easy. This way of eating does not have to be complicated. Quit overcomplicating things, just make it simple, basic things, regular food that you get in the grocery store, beans, fruits, veggies, starches, whole grains. That's as simple as it is. I think sometimes we wanna change the way we eat and we think we have to do 50 million things to get it all right. You're gonna make mistakes along the way and that's okay, but you're gonna find your groove and you're gonna find what works for you. So if you've made it this far in the video, please comment below with bowls, and that way I know you made it to the end with me. And please subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video, which is every Tuesday and Saturday. And check out those links in the description box below with all the resources I told you about. And all my recipes on this channel are good for you, they're good for the animals, and they're good for the planet. And what you put on your plate determines your fate and your weight. Until next time, thank you. I am a wreck today. I did that opposite. You know what I meant. And I also have an e-guide to help you. I also... <laughs>